Well, hello there, Briar Patch Kids, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be so long, so please make sure to get a snack. Please make sure to get a drink because you will get dehydrated and you will get starving. Because this is probably going to be my longest video on YouTube ever. Because this is my 2016 favorites video. And if you saw the mess that was right next to me, if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Bra Patch family. But we have fun here all the time. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have beauty and makeup here, and then I'll talk about some TV shows and stuff at the end, and maybe some YouTubers that I liked at the end of the year. Not sure yet, didn't plan that one out. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below if you guys are interested in checking them out for yourself. So my first favorite is my face powder right here, and this is the Original formula Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is what it looks like. It is the translucent extra coverage powder and this is really really great for keeping your skin matte all day. It also has a really nice pleasant rosy dusty dusty rosy powdery scent which I personally love so much so honestly love this stuff and a little bit goes such a long way next i'll talk about some blushes that i really love this year i have three blushes here the first one has to be my laura geller just blushing palette i love this palette so much it has all three of my basically favorite shades it has tropic hues bora bora maui and it has golden apricots which are amazing shades i love them Tropic Hues is my all-time favorite color though. My next blush that I love is one that I've mentioned a ton of times this year and it has to be the Model Co. Muddle. The Model Co. Blush Cheek Powder in Peach Bellini. And oh my god. And I got this in an Ipsy bag. I remember that. I got this in an Ipsy bag and this is what I used for my Aerial Cosplays when I was redhead in the beginning of the year. And I love this shade so much. Should I swatch? Okay, let's swatch this. Okay. I wasn't gonna do swatches, but. This is what it looks like. It's just a beautiful, like, um, iridescent type peach shade, and it is gorgeous. Finally, I found this bad boy in July at BeautyCon, and I'm so happy I got it because I literally, I wore it today, by the way. Um, this is the Tarte Sensual Blush, and this is their, sorry, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see anything. <laughs> Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in Sensual. And it's just a beautiful neutral blush. I love this so much. I wear this every time I wear makeup. So this is literally my go-to blush at the moment. All right, let's talk about contour palettes real quick. So I have two, and these are like the only two I have because they're my favorite. The first one is the Too Faced Contour Palette. I love this palette so much. This is the Chiseled to Perfection Contour Palette. This is what it looks like in the front. And you will see I have a little bit of a favorite color. Can you guess what my favorite color is? I am trying to find a dupe for this because I'm so sad that it's about to run out and I really don't want to buy a new contour palette because these aren't refillable. And also it smells like really good chocolate. So if you guys like to smell chocolate in your makeup, then you'll really like this too. So next is my shade and light palette. This is my fave as well. And I have definitely some favorites. So I use this to set my eye under eyes. I actually use the pink one today because I'm starting to use the pink one. So it can catch up with the yellow one. I barely use the salmon one. And then for my contour, I use basically these two colors right here. Mostly this one in the front. And that one is called Subconscious. I love it so much. And I think it's amazing. It's so amazing. It's amazing. So amazing. Okay, I'll talk about my all-time favorite highlighters of this year. And I have three here that I'm obsessed with. The first one is the one I'm wearing today, girl. I'm wearing it with one of my other products that I have here that I'll show you in a little bit. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And I love this highlighter. I mean, there's like a huge dent in it. Like, if you guys can't see that dent. But, like, I would swatch it, but it's on my cheeks. And, like, look at that glow, girl. Next are my Becca highlighters. I got these, like, very close either to the end of the year last year or the beginning of this year. And I love these so much. The first one I have is Opal. And this was, like, the tried and true ones. You can see I have a really good dent in it. Huge dent in it. And I'll go ahead and swatch it. It's, like... Oh my god, it's beautiful. I, oh, I always forget how beautiful this freaking color is. I'm always wearing like my, um, the bomb one and I never wear this one. And that's it right there. Isn't that gorge? That is so gorge. And it's so smooth and creamy. Like it's, it's a powder blush, but it goes on so well and I love it. And for girls who really don't like that huge bling, they would go for Becca's press 
powder in Moonstone. You can see I have a nice dent in this one as well. This one's like my everyday blush, uh, everyday um, kind of highlighter. It's not as crazy as Opal. It's actually a lot more subtle. That's the one right there. As you can see, it doesn't have like a crazy amount of shine. It has definitely some shine in there, but not as much as Opal does. So I really like this as an everyday highlighter. So I'm going to talk about my favorite primer today. And this has been my favorite all-time primer of all time. I think I mentioned it last year as well. This is a Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. I love this primer so much. This has is pore refining, waterproof, and line filling. It lasts a whole year. Actually, I just opened this tube because I was experimenting with other ones, but this is like my fourth tube, I think, the third or fourth tube. I love this stuff. And it has that silicone base. So if you guys don't like silicone hi uh, highlighters, ooh, that'd be so sick if there was like silicone highlighters out there. Um, but if you don't like silicone primers, you won't like this one because this is definitely silicone based, but it makes everything stay put. My favorite foundation of this year has to be the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, normal to oily one in the shade 125. And this matches, this is like the only foundation that matches me perfectly. Like, I'm not wearing it today, I'm actually wearing L'Oreal today, but it ain't my favorite no more. It used to be, my pro long wear one was like my hair one for a couple of months, but this definitely stole the show. I love this freaking foundation. It stays on all day, it minimizes your oil on your face because I'm oily when it comes to like being outside. Like my face will just get oily, um, especially in the T-zone area, and this is perfect for that. So this really doesn't um, crease or it doesn't like turn like patchy on your skin when you oil. It's just it's when you oil, when you produce the oil. Um, and I just spit, that was gross. But yeah, so this is just the Fit Me Foundation in 125 Nude Beige. I have two favorite concealers. One I'm trying to use up because it ain't my fave no mo, but it was my fave for like six months until, and I, this was like my second bottle of it until I found my ultimate favorite one. And it's these two concealers right here. The first one is the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. I love this stuff so much. My color is light warm. It's very, very light for my skin. When I go out to like a potty or something, I'll wear this. And then my number one is the Shape Tape by Tarte. And this is the light medium one. And this is the one I'm wearing today, okay? Can you see? Can you see? I'm just kidding, I'm being really weird. Um, yeah, this is the light medium one. This one is amazing. A little bit goes a long way. I'll show you the, um, the applicator. It's like the biggest applicator ever, but it has like a little scoop thing inside. There, it has a little scoop thing inside, so it actually catches more product. And it's just really good, and it smells really good, and it's cold when you put it on. So in the mornings, if you wear makeup to work, I personally don't wear any face makeup to work. But when I used to, I would put this underneath my eyes, and it was like, whoa, I'm awake. Favorite eyeshadows of the year have to be ColourPop eyeshadows. These are the ones that I kind of love for single eyeshadows. I have four with me. I have like a huge collection. If you guys want to see my collection of ColourPop eyeshadows, I will show you. But I have four with me today. These are my four favorite colors. The first one is girly and this is just a beautiful one this is an old one i actually bought a new one and this is just this beautiful iridescent pink white shade and it's actually very translucent at the moment it's just a beautiful like highlight shade for your eyebrow bone it's right there i don't know if you can see it yeah i don't think you can see it that well but it's just a really really good iridescent like highlight shade for your eyes the next one I have is the color Sugar, and I used this in my Hilary Duff makeup tutorial that I did a long time ago. I don't remember when I did that, but it was definitely this year, or it had to be late last year. And this is such a beautiful, like, metallic blue shade. It's like an ice blue color, and that's what it looks like. This one is my number one. This one is Game Face. This is what it looks like. That one is Game Face. It's just a really nice kind of copper shade. And finally, we have Hanky Panky, which is a matte shade. It's a really, really great um, eyeshadow. Like, if you just want to have, like, a nice kind of pair of deep set eyes, you feel, this is a really good one. So those are my favorite single eyeshadows. Now, I have three eyeshadow palettes that I have fallen in love with this year. The first one is my Holy Grail palette, and you guys know because I've mentioned it a million times. This is my Kat Von D Monarch palette. This is what it looks like in the inside. It's a beautiful coppery palette. If you guys have ever had Kat Von D eyeshadows, you know that the quality of Kat Von D eyeshadows is so freaking legit. It's like ridiculous. It's so good. Kat Von D eyeshadows are literally the best. If there is at least have one Kat Von D eyeshadow palette in your collection, is all I got to say. Next is Doo -doo -doo, Sweet Peach palette. I love this palette. I've had this palette for months already. 
I'm, I guess they just came back into circulation. This is what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And it smells like the Georgia peach. Finally has to be my second to favorite palette like ever. And it is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am so happy I got this palette. I was on the finch about getting this palette forever. But I finally did it and I fell in love. These are all of the colors. Oh my God. And I have never owned an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. But now I know why people are like obsessed with them. And I'm just very happy with this one. I don't know if I'm going to buy any more. Because this is literally like my... This is like if Rosa made an eyeshadow palette, this would be it. Except for like the two pink colors. I would probably remove those because I am a fan of pink on my eyeballs. My favorite colors are Verma, Primavera, Burnt Orange, Rhaegar, and... Um, Railgar, my bad. I always want to say Rhaegar because of Rhaegar Targaryen. Okay. My favorite eyeliner has to be the Milani Stay Put Matte Eyeliner. Um, hands down, my favorite eyeliner now ever. I used to love the e.l.f. one, but Milani just took the cake. I'm actually wearing this one on my eyeballs today. This is the Coffee Matte one. This is, it looks light brown when you take it out of the tube, but it actually turns into a dark brown on your eyeballs when it turns matte. Love to wear all of these colors and I don't like to wear liquid liner that's colored often but this line has amazing like they're like the perfect colors for your eyes so if there's a dark brown I have a dark green dark blue and a dark black dark black black is dark but anyway the black so this is amazing it stays on forever and ever and ever I love it it turns totally matte so there's no shine at all that way as you can see it's totally matte it's amazing that's beautiful it's so beautiful all right so next are my eyebrow little things that I mention these every year so I'm not gonna go into depth too much um, Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in dark brown and Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel in clear amazing lasts forever if you like them cartoony brows you will love this I know that I could like try and make my brows look more natural with this but I use a heavy hand so that's just how my eyebrows look eyeshadow primer everyone's got to have their favorite eyeshadow primer right if you guys haven't guessed, it's Painly Paint Pop by MAC. Bought one, backup. They're $22 now, you guys. That's so expensive for this, but it lasts such a long time. This one's lasted me like a year. So it makes your eyeshadow last a long time, and it covers up all of your, like, discoloration on your eyelids, which I really like because that's my problem area is discolored eyelids, and I also have sunspots on my eyelids. It's just, it's just a fun time. We're talking about lip base and my favorite of this year i actually have a new favorite now which is by jouet but this year has been my rosebud self this is my second one of this year love it it looks like this it is beautiful i wore it underneath my lip stuff today and this is just amazing you can use this for everything but i use this for my lips also aquaphor love me some aquaphor favorite lip liners are by ColourPop. they're super cheap they are super amazing they break all the time though but they are really good my favorites are bound which is like my number one favorite one this is amazing and brink which is another really good your lips but better color they just make your lips look nice and big and voluminous i'm actually wearing tootsie today <laughs> i just don't have it with me but yeah Amazing. For lipstick, my favorite lipstick ever brand, Kat Von D studded lipsticks. Love these lipsticks so much. We'll never get rid of these. I used to have a lot of them, but there's just a lot of shades that I didn't use. And my favorite one is this one. As you can see, it's almost gone. And I told myself I'm not going to purchase lipsticks ever. So um, this one's Cathedral. I love them. They smell really good. They're supposed to smell like creme brulee. And they are really, really long lasting as well. And they're not, and they are matte lipsticks, but they are not. Um, like they don't make your lips dry which I really like and then the next one I have is my second favorite and this one is Lovecraft and this is a beautiful they are both amazing shades Lovecraft is like a really nice your lips feel better color um, and it has a little hint of like mauve to it and then Cathedral is like your lips feel better but it has that more like darker like ready brown shade I love both these shades so much they are like my go-to lipsticks I love them this will be kind of um <laughs> Shocked. I wear so many liquid lipsticks, but a lot of the ones that I've been wearing right now are Milani Amore Matte Liquid Lipstick, but for the year, I've only had those for a couple of months, or like a month and a half, um, but for the year, I have two brands that I love. The first one is Black Moon Cosmetics. I love, this is my favorite one. This was featured in my favorite fall li li liquid lipsticks. This is in the color Libra. It's gorgeous. It's like this beautiful your shade but better color. And I bought it for the name, but I kept it for the color. <laughs> I love this so, so much. I think, and the bottles are so nice, you guys. Like, look at that sleekness. These are kind of expensive though. 
but they're really, really good. Next has to be Stila liquid lipsticks. These are like my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks, you guys. These are so freaking comfortable. They are just like amazing. These are the Stay All Day liquid lipsticks in the color Patina and Aria. I love them. Patina is like everyone's favorite. Everyone loves freaking Patina. And I, I you can, listen, you'll understand why when I show you this wash. Also, they smell so damn good. Okay, so that is Patina. So, so, so pretty. And then my favorite, personal favorite, is Aria. It's this beautiful dark, like, Okay, my neighbor. That was rich. It's like, sorry. Because my door, literally, to enter the house is like right there, like right next to me. So that would have been embarrassing if he walked in. But anyways, so this is Aria. It's just this beautiful, oh my, oh, it's like liquid, like candy. That one is Aria right there. And you guys, these are my favorite shades. I love them so much. They are just like the most beautiful shades. And the consistency is like on point like oh my god so yeah so stila patina and stila aria are my favorite liquid lips favorite lip gloss i'm pretty sure i don't have to tell you but i'm gonna tell you again i'm gonna tell you again it's gonna be buxom lip cream in the color white russian i bought it i actually used it because it was white russian for i am a white russian but i bought it because i was in love with it and it you're there's not really too much color to it well, there's a little bit. It's like a baby pink, but I put it over like all of my really dry liquid lipsticks so it makes them look really pout. That is the color right there. It's just really, really nice. It's just a super subtle lip gloss. It's cooling. It's amazing. It's long lasting. I love it. It's the best. We have skincare left. So we're just going to go in with some skincare products. So let's talk about what I use for my base of my makeup. So if I am, I actually use this for everything. So I'm just going to show you. It is the Rose Petals Rose Water Aromatherapy Mist. This is amazing. Not only for toning your face at night, which is what I use it for. It's also really good to prep your skin before makeup. There's no alcohol in it, so it won't dry out your skin, but it still gives you that really nice clean canvas. I use it today because I wash my face in the early wee mornings and it was like three o'clock when I started filming videos. So I just used this and I put on a little cotton round and I put on my face before I started my makeup process. This is the Ole Henriksen Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. This is just really good when you have like a lot of makeup on. Like I'm probably gonna use this today to wash my face because I mean, makeup wipes can take off, the makeup wipes that I have, that they can actually take off a lot, a lot of makeup in like one wipe. But sometimes I just feel like I need a little bit extra. So the Ole Henriksen Pure Truth Melting Cleanser is like, cleanser is like the best. Um, I actually have a whole demo of this on my channel. I um, mean, it smells like like a little bit citrusy, but it's it's not. It's basically no scent except for like a little citrus, and it's really really great for taking off all your makeup. So what you do is you just put this gel on, you massage it around everywhere, and then you take cold water or hot water, whatever you prefer, put it on a towel, soak that towel, just take off all the makeup and just comes off like that. Moisturizers. So for daytime, I love, you guys know that I mentioned this so much and I'm actually almost out of it. That's why I kind of stopped using it because I'm literally, yeah, I literally only have like a snake left of it and that's it. And I just have so many moisturizers that I'm just keeping the bottle for when I run out of moisturizers like, and then I can buy a new one of these. But this is my favorite daytime moisturizer. I love this moisturizer so much, you guys. This is an amazing daytime moisturizer. Underneath your makeup, it makes your makeup last forever, even if you forget to put on primer. This is amazing. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating, Hydrating Boost. This is really good for if you have really dry skin and you need that hydration. I personally don't have really dry skin, but this works really, really well for primer before you either put on primer or you don't even have to put on primer, and this is amazing, so. Nighttime. I'm so sad this is my favorite, but it's my favorite. I'm never gonna purchase it again because it's literally $70. And it is the Bobbi Brown Repair Moisturizing Balm. And I've used this so sparingly, but this has been my favorite of the year. Even though I haven't used so much of it, it's my favorite. And first of all, it smells like Vapor Rub. Well, like a little bit better than Vapor Rub, but I love the smell of Vapor Rub, so that's what really, and it also is one of those really thick powders that's like, a powder really thick moisturizer that, that's kind of hard to put on your skin but that's how you know it works kind of a situation um it's really kind of a sticky moisturizer but you massage it in you kind of like massage it off and it's like really good favorite makeup wipes has to be the makeup removers by neutrogena it's the hydrating one and then the purple one i really like but the right ones that i have right now these are actually my last ones i have to buy another pack of them 
Um, this is the Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes by Neutrogena. These are amazing. One wipe and you can take off all of your makeup, even your lashes. Like I use this for my whole entire face. I just, I'm actually going to show you guys how I use this in my um, skincare routine. Like when I do my everyday skincare routine for you guys, I'm going to show you guys how I use this, but oh, so good. So next I will talk about another kind of moisturizers type situation which i've used the most this year that bobby brown one is really good but this is what i would recommend if you don't have a lot of money like this girl right here essential oils and a carrier oil and you guys know in my i posted this in 2015 i think the winter of 2015 my skincare routine for nighttime and it's a carrier oil and this and what you do is you put um oil on your hand and then you put i put a drop of Oh, this is the wrong one, but whatever. I'll, I'll talk about this. Frankincense and rosemary is what I usually use, but you can also use thyme as well. Sometimes I use, and then lavender is really, really good for the skin. And I actually put the lavender one in my face mask that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, these are really amazing essential oils. And then the carrier oil I'm using at the moment is a hobo oil, but you can use almond oil. You can use castor oil. Now, castor oil you should use like only when you want to oil, like when you want to um, oil cleanse. But really really great so amazing for your skin you guys face masks let's talk about three of my face masks that i've been loving this year first one is my tried and true aztec secret indian healing clay this i've been using for so many years now it's like 11 dollars now on amazon it used to be nine but i think it's 11 now. i think they're understanding that people are liking this stuff and all it is is really like i don't know if you can see that it's just like powder in there it's a uh, bentonite clay really really good for your skin really really good for detoxifying your skin like it'll clear out your blackheads and whiteheads and any type of heads you got on your face except your own head. I do this mask once a month because it's pretty intense and it makes your face pulse and it's crazy but I love this stuff so much I stand by it all the time. Next favorite is a another version basically if you're really really tired and you don't want to do one of these basically mix it with extra stuff you can go with the quick fix which is the mint julep mask by Queen Helene. Love this stuff. Mine's actually actually a little dried out, but I'm still trying to use this. I'm trying to finish this so I can get rid of it and buy a new one. Well, I'll buy a new one later because I have so many face masks, you guys. Like, I'm trying to get rid of all my face masks right now. But this one is great. I will be repurchasing this. It is mint green, hence why it's called the mint julep mask. And it is amazing. You get so much for like, I think it's like $5. And it's so, so good, you guys. So my more expensive, luxurious mask has to be my Origins mask. I got this at the Sephora VIB sale. It's the Origins Original Skin Retexturing Mask with Rose Clay. I love this stuff because it exfoliates your skin when you wash it off and while you put the mask on. Getting down to my favorite lotions. I have two favorite lotions of this year. The first one is the Body Shop um, Atlas Mountain Rose one. And there's so much of this. You can never get through one of these. But my one of my 2017 resolutions is to lotion every night because actually lotion helps me fall asleep. Like it just feels really, really calm. I'll put it on my body and then I'll put it on my legs, my body, and then I'll put on like warm clothes and it'll just feel really snuggly and I'll go to sleep and it'll feel really nice. And I love the Body Shop because they're cruelty free. My ultimate favorite is this one. This one's discontinued, so I kind of feel bad showing you guys. But this is the Winter Has Come Forge Cookie Soap whipped cream and their whipped creams are amazing by the way and this is what it looks like oh my god this one's called mother of dragons i don't know if i told you this mother of dragons and it smells so good it smells like flowers but like really healthy fresh flowers not like dead flowers and it's not even that naturey. it's kind of like candy and flowers it smells so good it's so light it's so amazing for your skin I just, I try not to use it because it is so good, but I know I'm going to have to use it one of these days. And it's actually a really thick cream, but it is so light, you guys. It's like, it feels like nothing's in this bucket, bucket, nothing's in this tub, but there's still so much left because I use this very sparingly because it's so freaking good. Finally, we're going to go into my favorite bedtime scents. And if you guys don't know, I have to use essential oils when I go to sleep because... I'm a very stressed out person and I deal with anxiety and stuff like that so I'll actually have really bad sleep if I don't use some sort of a calming thing. So I have two of my favorites. The first one is, it's called Bitch Be Gone and my cousin Mariana got this for me. This is just a really amazing smell, smelling essential oil. I'll actually put it on me right now. Um, and this is, let me see, it contains caramel extract, lavender blend, and mandarin red orange and it's 100% natural. So. I love this stuff. It's so good. Oh my god, I'm already calm now. I'm going to fall asleep. 
Next is the Chakra RX by Central Goddess, and this has a little gem in it, and this I got in my Goddess Provisions Solar Plexus box, and it's amazing. It smells like lemons, and oh my god, I just, I want to fall asleep just smelling these. Like, these make me fall asleep so fast. Like, screw the z -Quil. I actually do take z -Quil. but screw the z -Quil. Use this. That was the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so sorry that I blabbed for super long. I knew this was going to be a long ass video, but it's going to be like that. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!